Obviously, my last few games, you know, had a you know somewhat of a you know dinged up shoulder. You know, didn't want to you know risk anything else further than that. But you know, felt like the best thing was to, to go to San Diego to start training, start lifting, getting my body ready for Indianapolis. That my shoulder's 100% healthy. You know, I think that's a that's a big question too. A lot of people are asking that, and um, you know, I will be throwing, and um, you know, that that's one of the main reasons why I, I want to prove to everyone is because I'm going to go out there, I'm going to throw, I'm going to compete, and um, show to everyone that that it's 100%. There's no issues, no problems, and um, I'm going to go out there and sling it. Uh, I believe so. You know, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about me, and I think I can you know settle those in the in the team meetings with the with the teams, with the coaches, the GMs. Um, you know, let them know who I am as a person. Um, you know, get up on the board, show them that I can drop. You know, anything versus certain defense. Um, you know, dial the blitz. I can you know redirect the protection to pick it up. Um, anything that I can do to show them that I'm not you know just a good football player, but I'm you know mentally sound. I know you know the game inside and out, um, and that I'm just a complete football player. Uh, that I'm, you know, a cocky football player, arrogant, um, stuff like that, and it couldn't be further from the truth. Um, you know, that's why I'm looking forward to seeing now with these teams, let them, you know, find out who the real Connor Cook is. I'm a nice, humble, you know, hardworking kid. Yeah, I think that kind of got blown out of proportion as well. Um, you know, I was excited. Uh, I was a little nervous. I didn't think I deserved the MVP first and foremost. You know, thinking about what I was going to say once I got the microphone, wanted to give it to my offensive line uh, just for the way that they played throughout the entire game, especially the last drive. Um, but it just happened real quick. I didn't think anything of it. And, and I remember, you know, just checking my phone after the game, and there was a lot of tweets and stuff, and people were tagging me and things. And I saw it, and it did look pretty bad. And the first thing that I did was apologize on, on live television, on BTN, um, just saying that it was, you know, obviously I didn't mean to do it. I felt bad about it, and I was sorry. Uh, then I called Archie Griffin that night, talked to him, and, and I remember he even said that he didn't even realize what happened until after when people hit him up. He didn't think anything of it. So, um, you know, obviously it did kind of look bad, and I felt and I felt bad about it. But um, it was just totally, I mean, we, we won our football conference. We were Big Ten champs, and I think the last thing that's going through my mind at that time is to try and disrespect someone, let alone a man like Archie Griffin.